Hello everyone, my name is Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And I have been blessed with this opportunity from Miss Nicole from Spiritual Goddess Academy to come to you guys with 12 readings, okay? 12 tarot and oracle readings, okay? Such a wonderful privilege. I am so fortunate that she and Spiritual Guides Academy will give me this opportunity, okay? So with that being said, you guys, you know that tarot energy is fluid. Take what is for you, leave what is not for you, so that who is meant for it can get it. Okay, these messages are timeless, you guys. So they are meant to reach you whenever they are meant to reach you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm going to open up this reading with the Keepers of the Light Oracle. Okay, and we're going to see what's coming through. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, our divine, Holy Spirit. What's coming through for the collective that I'll be reading for either now or at a later date? Um, divine Holy Spirit just gave me that something is breaking up. Something is breaking up, breaking apart right now for the collective that may be resonating right now. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What's coming through for the collective? That I'll be connecting with either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is coming through for the collective that I'll be resonating with. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. A lot of you guys are going through awakening, dark night of the soul. You're being spiritually guided by your ancestors right now. Phases and cycles are coming to an end. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I'm resonating with? What energy is coming through? Thank you. And we have magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Okay. That high priestess energy. Okay. All I hear is keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. That's that's what's playing in my head over and over again. Keep manifesting. Okay, bottom of the deck energy. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Okay. So we have spiritual teachers. We have spiritual leaders. Okay, we have people who make spiritual products. Okay. Um, I feel that there is something new on the verge of breaking through. Somebody is creating something new also in the spiritual uh, category, in the spiritual realm to help other people. I'm not quite sure what it is. I feel like this person has been doing spiritual work for a long time. I'm hearing decades, years, okay? It is something Divine Holy Spirit is giving me off of this card that you're working on, that you're doing, okay? Don't stop. Keep on going. You're going to be very successful with that divine Holy Spirit is giving me. So we're going to go in with the soul's journey day, okay? And we're going to see what soul lesson, <clears throat> what you need to be paying attention to, what you're going through. is coming out for the collective. You guys know, take the energy, put it where it goes, okay? If it's meant for you. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be reading for either now or at a later date. What is coming through for the collective? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective divine Holy Spirit that I'll be resonating with either now or at a later date? And we have balance. I bring the state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. That's some beautiful energy coming through. So you're, you're manifesting, you're creating your visions. You're needing to stay focused and balanced. That's what I'm getting off of this energy. Stay focused and balanced, okay? At the back of the deck. I'm going to take that is honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. 
Okay, that's that good balance within yourself. Okay, a lot of crown chakra going on here. Divine Holy Spirit wants me to get one more. Give me one more Divine Holy Spirit. What is it that this collective needs to know? Thank you. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay, so we're bringing in that balance and we're kicking out worry. Or for some of you guys, you're moving past this worry phase. Okay, you might be worried about something, but you know that your honesty is what's bringing in the balance. What you're staying focused on is bringing in the balance. So you're learning this. It will not change an outcome. Okay. A lot of crown chakra going on there. Okay. Highly intuitive individuals. I'm talking to the divine Holy Spirit just told me. <clears throat> so we're going to go in. With the wisdom of the oracle, you're going to get a message from your higher self, a message from the ancestors, and a message from the guardian angels. Okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energy, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, archangels. What is the energy surrounding this collective? What do you need to know? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the energy around this collective? What do they need to know? Okay, let's cut it. And let's see what's coming out. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the high self? What is the message from the higher self, divine Holy Spirit? What is the message from the higher self? Thank you. To be fair, justice. A balance is coming in. That's balance coming in twice for you guys. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the ancestors? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the ancestors? Thank you. Soulmates. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? Oh. Milk and honey and exchanging gifts. Okay. So let's get into it. Um, Because I feel like as I was shuffling... Okay, we also have bottom of the deck energy observed along with serendipity. So I feel like, you know, you guys should start maybe paying attention to other little synchronicities, other little things that are going on, something you may not be catching. You may be running, doing this, manifesting, working on your goals. Okay, have a lot to do in your home life. Okay, a lot of responsibilities. But the Divine Holy Spirit is saying something is working out cleverly. And they specifically gave me that word, cleverly. Okay, in a serendipitous way, observe it. For some of you, you're going to write about this. Okay, so let's get into this energy. Because I feel like there, uh, for some of you, you have been separated or single for a while. You've been very focused on balancing yourself. And I feel like being honest with yourself or where you are at in life or your career goals, your relationship goals, your health goals. Okay. So I feel like you've, you've done something. The divine Holy Spirit, you know, the universe is very pleased with is what I'm getting to, to be fair, this justice card coming out, okay, this divine wisdom, I feel like that's being bestowed upon you, this glory, I feel off this card of balance, I feel off of this card of not just luck and good fortune, okay, but wisdom as well, okay, and I feel like there is a soulmate calling for a lot of you. There is someone that you're longing to connect with or there is someone that you are connecting with. And this is only for those if you're connecting with somebody that you feel like bring balance into your life. This person is your soulmate. Don't worry about that. Okay. And this is only for those of you who are in a connection with a person and everything is milk and honey. 
Okay, Divine Holy Spirit is giving me a proposal is coming for some of you as well. You're going to be getting proposed to by this person. Okay, it's going to be a lot of exchanging gifts. And this is within the Divine Holy Spirit. And this is also within your partner. Okay, I'm feeling a divine counterpart, a divine countership in, in encounterment. Okay, something that was just meant to be. Okay, I see a lot of abundance with this person. Okay, this person is coming in very heavy for me. Okay, I'm sensing a very strong connection. So for those of you who have been out of connection in a while, something is coming in. Someone is coming in and this person, okay, Spirit is saying for some of you, there will be a test. Okay, there will be a test to make sure that you are in check. Okay, with the things that are for your highest good spirit is giving me for others of you who have been in or have been out of a relationship for a very long time there is a pacific person that's coming into you that's coming in for you okay and for others of you i feel like if you're already in union with this person there is going to be a proposal okay something is coming in strong for the collective that I'm resonating with this milk and honey card. This is like, you know, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, the sun card, you know, um, the magician is a lot in just one card because this speaks of abundance. Okay. This speaks of what you're manifesting. Okay. And this is your guardian angel showing you that it's, it's coming to, for which is is coming to pass, okay? This is the message that's being relayed by the guardian angels here, okay? So we're going to go in and we're going to get an affirmation. And then we're going to go in with the angels and ancestors oracle. And see what's coming through. And a spread that the spirit gave me just for... This exclusive read for Spiritual Goddess Academy, okay? You guys, go ahead and hit that like button, okay? Go on, subscribe to Spiritual Goddess Academy channel, okay? If you're not already, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Divine, Holy Spirit is coming through. Thank you. And we have, I am willing to change. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that would stand in my way. New thoughts are positive and fulfilling. Okay, that's that worry and that balance energy coming out. I am willing to change. Okay, and I feel like your affirmation is everything that, you know, has come out thus far. Okay, and if not, this is, I feel like this is the direction that the collective is moving in. If you haven't made these changes already, I feel like this is what you're moving towards. You're ready to release something. Something balanced just is coming in for you. And it is your spiritual team. It is the work that you've been doing on yourself. That is, it, it is manifesting. The things that you've been calling into you, they are coming. Okay. So we're going to go in with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. Okay, this is going to be a six card spread. The first card is going to be your energy. Okay, the second card is going to be what grounds you. Okay, the third card is going to be your goals. The fourth card is going to be energies, positive or negative, that is surrounding something that you need to let go of or release. The fifth card is going to be where to direct your energy, your focus to. 
And the sixth card is going to be advice, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'll be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into the energies. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit, allow me. Okay. Spirit told me to stop right here. Bottom of the deck, wise run, grow within your current situation. Okay. So there's a situation that be going on for some of you guys. Maybe hard. You may be worrying. Spirit is asking for you to stay focused, stay balanced, be honest with yourself, change whatever you need to change, and that's growing within your situation. Okay, let's cut. Divine Holy Spirit, where is the collective's energy? Thank you. Sage, be devoted and committed. So you're in that sage energy. You're devoting, for, for most of you, you're devoting a lot of time to your studies, to your practice, to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, you're trying to accomplish at this time. Okay. Your spiritual journey, I'm hearing for a lot of you guys. Okay. I just have to point this out again. Divine Holy Spirit wanted me to. We have seer now. See beyond the current situation. So this is another card about moving beyond a situation. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is grounding the collective? Thank you. And we have Hunter Spirit, track down your fears. But Spirit told me to read it in the upright and in the reverse. Because some of you, this is what this is what's going to ground you. This is what's going to kick out that worry and bring in more balance to help you stay focused. Okay, hunting down what is exactly your desires in life. What exactly are you fearing? Okay, being devoted and committed to finding that out. Okay. For others of you, I feel like this is just that energy of going after what you want. Okay, and on this path, if there's a fear that comes up, then you know how to handle it. You know how to go about it. If there's a desire that comes up, you know how to go in and manifest it. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the goal for the collective? What is the goal or the desire for the collective that I may be resonating with either now? Thank you. And we have Stargazer. Set your sights higher. Okay. So I feel like whatever is coming through, whatever your goal is right here, it is it is out of this world. I'm, I'm hearing heavy manifesting. Like you guys are manifesting the stars, the moons, the planets, the galaxies. Okay. The next galaxy is over. Okay. Like a lot of manifesting, a lot of good wisdom here. Okay. I'm also paying attention. Um, something spirit is giving me about. It's something that you're doing. For some of you, it's something you've already created or you already, you know, you're already making money from it and you're comfortable and spirit wants you to even go higher. You know, it's something you're planning. It's something you're trying to work on. It's something you're trying to achieve to take a product or a book or I'm not sure an item, a, a thing that you're doing to another level. Okay, because it's something that you're doing that uh, it, you you sell it in the masses or it comes in and people is very in demand. Okay, so spirit is wanting you to take that energy, take that business, take that idea, take that spark to a whole nother level because they got you. To be fair, it's coming in milk and honey is coming in exchanging gifts is coming in. Okay. So I really feel like whatever it is you're trying to work on, whatever it is your your dreams and your goals, your visions are becoming reality. Stargazers set your sights even a little bit higher than that, boo. 
because I feel like the divine Holy Spirit wants to bring something in for you. Okay. And that's even in the person that you're manifesting as well. Spirit is giving me. Okay. Set your sights high. It's whatever you're desiring. Okay. If you, if you don't think that you can have it, you, you won't get it. It's what spirit is giving me. So divine Holy Spirit. We're surrounding the energy of what the collective needs to let go. Thank you. And we have elder move beyond ancestral patterns. Okay. And that's that energy of what you need to let go of. Okay. And spirit says, along with letting go of this medicine, mother, honor your inner knowing. Okay. And I feel Queen of Cups energy off of this. Okay. I also I also feel a little bit of um high priestess energy off of this as well. Okay. But this is this is what you need to let go of. And this can be anything, okay, that's dealing with family issues. Okay. Some of you guys are going through some things and you don't know why you keep repeating a certain pattern. It's because it's, it's connected to you in some type of way and you're needing to move past that very specific message. It won't resonate with everyone. But Spirit is giving me that it is, it is a pattern. Okay? And you see it. Okay? But you'll be treated a certain type of way if you... If you shed that skin, if you shed this pattern for some of you in your family. Okay, but this is what you need to let go of ancestral patterns. Divine Holy Spirit, where should the collective direct their energy? Thank you. And we have shapeshifter and we have mountains. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit is giving me shapeshifter to read it in two different ways. For some of you, it is something that you're needing to transform. Okay. And I feel like it's within your, within your minds and within your heart, within your spirit. Okay. You have to have this instinct. Some of you have a keen instinct. Okay. Very, very keen instinct. Okay. And you, you're needing to tap into all your different instincts. You're needing to tap into all like your spidey senses is what I'm getting off of this shapeshifter card. Okay. We might have some heavy Spider-Man fans or someone in your family might like Spider-Man because Spider-Man is in my spirit right now. I'm not sure. Okay. But I'm definitely getting the energy of tuning into your instincts. Okay. Like being on it about something. Okay, being very focused about something, tuning in. Okay, because you see on this card, there are a lot of different animals. And most of these animals right here are very intuitive, very instinctive. Okay, they sense things very strongly. Okay. And I'm definitely, Spirit is definitely highlighting this snake. I don't know if y'all guys can see it. Spirit is definitely highlighting this snake for me that's wrapped all around here. Okay. A lot of you guys are shedding some skin. And 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 for some of you, there are people involved in your life that are negative around you. Okay. They shape, they shift in into something else. Okay. They shift into something else. They are negative around you. What is it? They're negative around you. And when they're not around you, they shape, they shift into something else. Be careful of that as you are unveiling your gifts and going through things because they'll they will try to mimic you, I'm getting, or someone is mimicking you. And stand your ground. Okay. And before I even really paid attention to this card, you know, spirit told me about this person. Stand your ground with people like this or this person. Okay. Mountains is all about wisdom, clarity, a struggle. Yes, but the struggle as you go up, so does the blessing, so does the glory. Okay, 
So, let's go in with the advice. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the collective? Thank you. And we have stag, trust, and thrive. Okay, so whatever these gifts that's coming in for you for the collective here, okay, you must trust and thrive in this. Whatever this is you're going after, whatever this is you're trying to achieve, you're, you're moving away from, you're manifesting, you're creating, okay, the divine Holy Spirit is here, okay? There is just a sense of calm and peace right now that I feel over this spread, okay? Something just is coming in for this collective that is resonating with this message. Spirit is giving me, do not worry. Okay, be willing to change. Be willing to release any negative beliefs. Any negative beliefs around any ancestral patterns. Okay. Spirit is saying also for to turn this card over because now my new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. That is, that is, that is, if you're not dwelling in this energy, that is where you need to be focusing your energy on right now. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. If you're resonating with this message, but something, you know, you're, you're still in this worry energy from this, from this point on. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. Anytime something negative come up, we release. It's what spirit is giving me. So, I'm going to go in with a three-card spread on top of this. And I'm going to see what's coming out for the collective past, present, and future energy. <clears throat> and we're going to get a card um, for advice, okay? Our angels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, yes. I really do feel like for some of you, um, there's something heavy around this ancestral pattern, okay, that's going on. Okay, I feel, I sense worry about it, but I also feel like, you know, you're understanding that you can't change anyone else. You can't, you know, expect anything from anyone else, but you can expect everything from yourself. Okay, you can depend on yourself is what I'm getting off of that energy. Okay. So, okay. oh, fool at the back of the deck. Okay, you guys are ready to take that leap of faith. Okay, Queen of Cups energy, loving yourself. Spirit says off the top, we have King of Wands. We have the devil. And we have temperance. Advice. Two of cups. Okay. That's that soulmate energy right here. I feel like right now you guys could be going through a challenging time with a person. With a connection. Okay. With a situation that is very toxic. Okay. For some of you dealing with a person that was very arrogant. Of a person who, you know, was a man or woman about town. Okay. Spirit is asking for this future energy, patience, a divine to be fair. Okay, something just is coming in. Have patience. There's going to be all kinds of new connections that are going to be coming through for this collective. Okay, but right now this present energy is toxic. Whatever it is that is around you is toxic and you're needing to get away from it. Okay, you know if the connection that you're in is toxic. You know what situations you may be doing that are toxic yourself. Okay, so Spirit is highlighting that for me heavily. Get out of this toxic energy. Also, have patience with yourself and on this journey, on this path to your happiness. Okay, you have to balance. Temperance is all about balance. And that's what was coming out at the beginning of the reading. Okay. So I'm just going to get one clarifying card. Spirit doesn't want me to clarify this. Okay. Um, Spirit is also saying you guys, you know, um, for some of you in the past, had a very strong determination to change. Okay. But it was almost by any means necessary type of way. Okay. 
So you needed to come out of that energy. Divine Holy Spirit, what is this devil energy for the collective? Give me some energy surrounding this devil energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Okay. So yeah, some, some people were putting you in a third party situation. Some of you guys were nurturers. Okay, this is a Ten of Swords situation. This is coming to an end. Okay, some of you guys may be in the Five of Cups energy regret. And some of you guys may be doing something that may be toxic while you're in this energy. Okay, Spirit is saying to release that. But I see a lot of you guys putting this down. Okay, I see a lot of guys. I see a lot of you coming in, nurturing yourself. I see abundance here as well. Okay. Um, for some of you, I see this is an old situation. Okay. I see, um, for some of you, you're dealing with a Virgo. I'm also seeing here, um, Aquarius, Sagittarius, um, fire signs, water signs, air signs. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. You guys, divine Holy Spirit is saying, this is the energy you need to focus on moving out of for a lot of you guys because you're putting this situation down, whatever it may be, with this individual that kept putting you in third party situations. Okay, this individual is very arrogant, I'm getting okay, very confident, very cocky. You know, they go after what they want, they see a woman or a man they want, they get that. Okay, but you're moving away from all that energy and you're nurturing your creativity and what it is that you want. Have patience. Divine Holy Spirit is saying something new is coming in. A new connection is coming in. So I'm going to leave it at that. You guys hit that like button. Okay, leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel. Bye, you guys.